What is empty and 330 million light years across? Space. The vastness of space is indeed a little unsettling, so it's of no surprise that we tend to want to concentrate on the positive aspects. But we actually do discover our best theories for the universe in the emptiness of space. By revealing that what we initially believed to be gas swells on the fringe of our own galaxy were actually galaxies in their own right, Edwin Hubble demonstrated in 1923 that the universe was much larger than previously assumed. Therefore, there have been different ways of looking at things, similar to the horror cliché of flipping a photograph to reveal its photo negative. We now know that the universe has gaps of cold, black, lonely nothing that are larger than anyone anticipated ever. Now that scientists have stared into the abyss, what did they find in the nothingness? Join us as we explore how NASA found a hole in the universe where nothing exists. Robert Kirshner and other astronomers at the University of Michigan were calculating the redshifts of a large number of galaxies in 1981. Redshift is a measure of how quickly something is moving away from Earth. Since a galaxy moves more quickly the distance it is from us due to the way the universe is expanding, redshift can be used to calculate distance. This was being used by Kirshner and his team to build a 3D map of the cosmos. Then, something unusual emerged as the map filled in. They found that a blank emptiness lay 700 million light years from Earth. There were hardly any galaxies in a roughly spherical area of around 330 million light years across an area that the Milky Way could fit into billions of times. The area was first known as the Big Nothing, but through time it grew to be known as the Boots Void. The Boots Void is a rough sphere with a diameter of around 330 million light years that you won't see if you stare at Boots, the Big Dipper's neighboring plowman constellation. It's a ghost town in the galaxy. If galaxies are cities, then a void outside would be its suburbs, while its interior would be its most remote wilderness. Yet, if an atlas only has cities and roads, it won't be comprehensive. It also needs the voids in between. To finish their map, researchers are increasingly venturing into the vast black wilderness of the void, and by doing so, they are discovering new, more powerful dark entities in our universe. We only discovered one galaxy inside the emptiness when we initially viewed it. We have only found a few dozen more since then. The Milky Way is part of the smaller Virgo supercluster, which has about 2,000 galaxies in it. Humans can see one huge nearby galaxy, Andromeda, with their unaided eyes because we live in the Milky Way. Edwin Hubble was able to see Andromeda's individual stars thanks to the constellation's closeness, which revealed the universe's true size. Our nearest peers would be much further away if our galaxy were in the Boots Gap, which would give us the illusion of being at the center of the universe for longer. No statistical accident led to this. The universe is frequently compared to a cosmic web at very large sizes, with unseen dark matter strands supporting the brilliant structure of the cosmos. Consider it instead as a cosmic foam, similar to soap bubbles in a bathtub. Galaxy clusters concentrate in walls, filaments and intersections, just as it is sudsy where bubbles intersect. Much of the space in between is empty. The boot's void was simply too large, which was the issue. Because the gravitational attraction of their dense edges is far stronger than that of their centers, voids expand yet not ancient enough for the universe to have inflated such a large bubble. We had to wait until the discovery of dark energy in 1998 for an explanation. Dark energy is a cosmic pressure that causes empty spaces to expand, as if the entire universe were being inflated at once. Many astronomers believe that these unsettling regions that reveal the universe's raw fabric could point to the next major discovery. They are currently engaged in a boom of cataloging and mapping voids. Surveys have since been able to provide more precise maps of our universe. Galaxies are arranged like a huge web, as we now know. In our universe, most galaxies are situated in lengthy formations called filaments 
that wind throughout space. When these come together, they form clusters, which are areas with a lot of galaxies concentrated in them. Yet there are vast empty spaces with scarcely any galaxies in between these threads. Most of the voids are between 30 and 300 million light years vast and make up about 80% of the visible universe. Boots is one of the biggest and is known as a supervoid. Boots is believed to be the result of smaller voids coming together. These voids are supposed to have arisen at the beginning of the universe. All of the universe's matter was densely packed together in the early universe. It is believed that at first this soup was uniform, but soon after, tiny changes in the distribution of matter were produced by random quantum fluctuations. When certain regions became marginally denser, their gravitational pull increased and drew stuff away from the less dense regions. They became even denser as a result, which increased their gravitational attraction once more and caused them to drag in the additional matter. Due to the rapid expansion of the universe at the same time, these fluctuations, which began at the quantum level, eventually covered hundreds of millions of light years. Smaller clumps of matter started to organize themselves into galaxies in the meanwhile. Astronomers can acquire an insight into the early universe's appearance by analyzing these massive structures. Kirshner's maps can now be made in greater detail thanks to developments in telescope and imaging technology. One such example is the Dark Energy Survey, which has mapped out a quarter of the southern sky while looking at about 300 million galaxies. Supercomputers can now produce in-depth models of how the universe evolved from the earliest seconds following the Big Bang to the universe we see today. Astronomers can start to grasp how our universe got to look the way it does today by comparing these maps with the simulations. On the other hand, there is a peculiar region of the universe that confounds astronomers that is located around 3 billion light years from Earth. A cold spot, a vast emptiness with very few galaxies present, is the riddle. That is the largest structure we have ever found, measuring 1.8 billion light years across. A fresh analysis of this region, which was discovered in 2004, was recently released by astronomers from the University of Hawaii and other institutions. All that was previously known about the cold spot was that it was a region of space from which not a lot of energy was emitted. The enormous region includes about 10,000 fewer galaxies than anticipated, according to the latest study, which implies it has 20% less matter overall than other regions of the observable universe. Scientists' measurements of a type of energy known as Cosmic Microwave Background CMB, in 2004 revealed this frigid area. The CMB is heat energy that is a byproduct of the Big Bang and is constantly whirling across the entire cosmos. The violent events created high-energy radiation waves that were later stretched out over billions of years as the universe cooled and expanded. These waves are still present today everywhere we look at as a low level of microwave energy. Yet, as they studied the CMB, researchers discovered a sizable region in the direction of the constellation Eridanus, which has shockingly low energy. It is roughly 2.7 degrees Kelvin colder than the cosmos as a whole. Areas that huge only differ by one or two degrees elsewhere. Our theories on the formation of the universe do not account for this since they state that the universe should be quite uniform throughout. The most straightforward explanation was that the frigid spot was simply an unanticipated void, an area with few galaxies. But in 2009, researchers surveyed extremely remote regions of the universe in that direction and found no voids. Some researchers hypothesized that the cold area was caused by mistakes in the analysis of the CMB data, while others controversially asserted that it might represent proof of a parallel world. Imagine the cosmos as a Swiss cheese with holes or voids, representing empty spaces devoid of matter and gravitational attraction in order to comprehend the effects of voids. A photon or particle of light from the CMB will lose energy when it enters a void, but regain it when it leaves. 
The photon will, however, leave the void into a medium that is less dense than it was when it first arrived, since we think that the universe is constantly expanding. Weaker gravitational attraction on the emerging photon results from lower density. As a result, the photon loses some energy and is left with slightly less energy, which results in a lower temperature than light from areas of the sky that did not travel through the void. This is because the photon cannot make up all the energy it lost. The process explains why the area is 70 Kelvin cooler than the frigid CMB radiation surrounding it, which is 2.7 Kelvin in every upward direction. Yet this is not the first time scientists have asserted to have discovered a supervoid to account for the frigid area. When counting the number of radio sources in the direction of the cold spot in 2007, radio astronomers declared that they had discovered a low-density region. However, competing studies at visible wavelengths seem to dispute their findings. Several investigations look for gaps in the galaxy counts in the direction of the cold region at specific distances or redshifts, but came up empty-handed. It was necessary to significantly expand the portion of the sky that astronomers could observe in order to count the galaxies closer to Earth and test for the presence of nearby emptiness. New catalogues of objects found during wide-field all-sky surveys brought about this capability. Researchers led by Istvan Sabpudi of the University of Hawaii at Manoa created a 3D map of galaxies in the general direction of the cold spot using data gathered by a pair of telescopes to solve the mystery. However, they didn't map far-off galaxies like before. Instead, they mapped galaxies that were relatively close by. These galaxies are only 3 billion light-years away, which is a short distance when compared to the size of the visible universe. Based on the total density of galaxies in the cosmos, this scan discovered a massive gap with around 10,000 fewer galaxies than you'd anticipate. There are other voids, but this one is by far the biggest we've seen so far. It's also the biggest structure we've seen so far in the universe. The chilly spot might be caused by such a vast gap since light could lose energy as it crosses it and experience a minor wavelength stretch as a result of the universe's ongoing expansion. This might help to explain why the CMB data shows a little less energy originating from that region of the sky. This is a promising finding. However, the study is intricate and prone to errors because of different presumptions. The authors note that the simple assumption of a single gigantic gap is likely to be naive, and that understanding the density of the universe on the near and far sides of the emptiness is more difficult than one may anticipate. It will be possible to tell if the supervoid has a substructure by looking at more comprehensive maps of it. Ultimately, it may be necessary to make changes to our favorite cosmological theories or even models of gravity itself in order to grasp the nature of voids and cold spots. Using fresh methods in a time of data-driven discovery could reveal novel and fascinating insights into the nature of the universe. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.